Hi everybody, it's Mrs. Garibaldi. I am here live from Monster Jam. So I wanted to go to come to you today for Monday's um, March 30th math lesson. So go ahead, get your Envisions Volume 2 math book and a pencil. And if you have any sort of um, things that you can use as counters, I'm gonna be using snap cubes, but if you have Legos or acorns or um, pennies, you can use any of those as counters, okay? So, and if you don't, you can always use a crayon and you can draw the counters on. All right, so go ahead and get your materials. I am going to go ahead and share my screen with you. And here we go. So you're going to turn your book um, to page 389. This is lesson 10-1 and we're on page 389. All right, so I would like for you to go ahead and look at the 10 frame. You're going to use counters to fill the 10 frame. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Okay, then it says to put one, two, or three counters outside of the 10 frame. So I am going to take two and put two outside of the 10 frame. Okie doke. And then it says you are going to write an equation that you, oh, I'm sorry, what equation can you write? to tell how many counters there are in all. So watch what I'm gonna do. I, they gave me a 10 here already. Well, that's the 10 frame. How many do we have outside of the 10 frame? One, two. So I'm gonna write the number two here on this line. So then how many, how many counters do I have in all? Well, I have 10, 11, 12. So I have 12 counters in all. Perfect. All right, I'm gonna scooch my counters out and let's go ahead and turn the page. Make sure you have one page. You're gonna flip it over and now we are on page 390. Now if at any point during the video, you feel like you need more time with something or I'm going too fast, go ahead and pause the video so that you can catch up with me, okay? So take a look at the top here. So it says, how many? Well, what they've done is they've sorted all of the counters onto a 10 frame, and then it looks like they had three left over. So 10, 11, 12, 13. And they made an equation over here, 10 plus three. So 10 plus three equals 13. And so she has 13 cubes. Nice. Now I want you to look at our guided practice, number one. I would like for you to write an equation to match the number of blocks shown. Now they um, went ahead and they have it for us here traced out. So let's go ahead and do it now. There are 10 cubes on the 10 frame. So go ahead and trace over the number 10. There are two cubes outside of the 10 frame. How many cubes are there total? Well, let's count. 10, 11, 12. So there are 12 cubes total. Go ahead and trace the 12. Nice job. Now we're going to turn to the next page page 391, page 391. And let's see, I'm gonna to have to scooch it this way. We're gonna start up here on number two, okay? And it says, you are going to write an equation to match the number of blocks shown, okay? So I see we have a full 10 frame. So I'm gonna write the number 10 here. How many blocks are outside of the 10 frame? 
there's one block outside of the 10 frame. So I'm going to write a number one here. So how many blocks are there total? Well, let's count on. So we start with 10, 11. So there are 11 blocks total. Let's look at number three. So what do I put here on this line first? If you said 10, you're right, because there are 10 cubes on this 10 frame. So 10. How many cubes are outside of the 10 frame? Three, you're right. So I'm gonna write the number three here. How many blocks are there total here? 10 plus three is 13. Good work. Now we're gonna come and we're gonna look at number four here. Number four is directions to, they say, draw blocks to match the equation. Okay, so first we need to draw 10 on the 10 frame. So I'm just gonna draw circles on my 10 frame. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Okay. How many need to go outside of the 10 frame? Two, one, two. Nice job. Now let's do the same thing for number five. I start with 10 counters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. And how many counters go outside of the 10 frame? Three, one, two, three. Good work. Now we're gonna turn the page. And this is going to be our independent practice for today. We're going to do um, the first one together, and then I'm going to read the questions for the next three, okay? And so follow along with me, and you're going to do the work as I read the questions, okay? And then this is the page that you guys will take a picture of and submit to Edsby. So page 392, here we go. You're going to draw counters and write an equation to show how to make 13, 13. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and write 13 on this line because that's what I need to end up with, 13. Now, I know when I look at the number 13, the first number tells me how many tens I need. So how many tens do I need in the number 13? One, so I need, I need one group of 10. So here we go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How many ones do I have in the number 13? Three ones. One, two, three. Now, look what we can do. This looks just like on the other page, okay? So the number 10 goes here, and the number three goes here. Okay. You're going to do the same exact thing for number seven, but I'm going to tell you what number you're going to be representing with counters and the equation. Okay, so you're going to draw for number seven, put your finger on seven, draw counters and write an equation to show how to make 11. Go ahead and do that now on your own. For number seven, you're going to, you're going to draw the counters and write the equation to make 11. Nice work. If you need more time, hit the pause button, okay? All right, if you are ready to move on, we're gonna go on to number eight. I will read the question to you. Number eight says, draw counters to find the missing number. Okay, then you're gonna tell how the picture and equation show 10 ones and some more ones. 
okay? So you're gonna see it wants 12 total. So you're gonna write 12 counters, you're gonna draw 12 counters and you're gonna fill in the missing number. Nice work. Go ahead and we're gonna to come to number nine. If you need to pause the video, go right ahead. Now look at number nine. I'm gonna zoom in on number nine because this one is a little tricky. Okay, take a look where the equal sign is, you guys. The equal sign's at the beginning. So this says 13 is equal to 10 plus what number? Okay, so they're wanting us to make 13 again, because I'm looking at that equal sign. Notice how when we go back to number eight, the equal sign is at the end of the equation. 10 plus equals 12. This says 13 equals. Okay, so we need to find 13, how to make 13. Okay, so you're going to draw counters to make 13. And then you're going to figure out how many counters are left over and you're going to write that number on that line there. Okay, go ahead and do that now. Perfect. Nice job, you guys. Now, we have one more. Okay, this is one more little practice here we're going to do. Let me zoom out. Okay, this is gonna get us ready for tomorrow's lesson, okay? So you're gonna take a look at this page and I want you and your families to go ahead and work this out as well, okay? This is gonna be our lunch for tomorrow's lesson in math. All right, my friends, so before we go, I want you to look again. So for Edsby, the page that you're gonna take a picture of and upload, is page 392, and I will say that in Edsby as well for the assignment, so you're gonna upload a picture of your page 392. All right, and I will see you back tomorrow for lesson 10-2, we will do together. All right, my friends. Let's see, I think it's gonna, there it goes, ha, I'm back. I hope you enjoyed this math lessons today. I hope you enjoyed going to um, see, I think that's, I think that's Grave Digger. It is Grave Digger. Oh my goodness. So I hope you enjoyed today's math lesson. Happy Monday. I love you. I miss you. I hope to see you tomorrow for our math lesson. Bye guys. <laughs>